Hello everyone, today I want to show you everything what I do to create those videos every single day with this freaking weather in Poland I just want to know and I cannot find cheap flight tickets so let's let's do some topics for the video I even prepared a list as you can see we are getting more professional on this YouTube channel what I use to create this YouTube channel this is the phone that I use to film iPhone 13 usually I use this lens, normal lens it's the best quality I can use ultra wide but it's wider but the quality is a little bit worse 4K 25p thoughts about iPhone and Amazing, always in my pocket stable it's actually pretty good one thing that I don't like is just the flares at night next cam which is attached to my chest this GoPro I need to check out the list what I wrote okay GoPro Hero 10 amazing stable so small compact you can just press this to start filming it's very easy quick to start filming I love GoPro rain cannot stop us I want to make a video that I would want to watch when I started my YouTube journey GoPro Hero 10 I use 5.3k resolution to create every single day I need to make as simple as possible so I have just one settings in GoPro that I always always use which are super view 5.3k resolution and boost that's the settings that I never check okay, I put my, my best jeans to film this now drone shots my drone DJI mini 3 amazing purchase the most watched video on my channel is like unboxing of this drone the drone is amazing very stressful but really fun very important thing when it comes to drone filming be careful to not abuse it trust me no one cares it's like a nice way to transition I like to add them sometimes even too much but okay that was my filming equipment phone gopro and this drone i asked myself a couple days ago could i just have this equipment that i have right now and film only using drone phone and gopro for the rest of my life i can so i can just calm down i have enough camera just focus on ideas or like improving your being in front of the camera skills or, or talking there's so many youtubers that make just amazing vlogs videos just with gopro first part done second phase of the video accessories let me show you my entire collection of tripods so phone is my main camera so i use like this phone mount first tripod that i use for gopro ulanzi mt09 i don't use it that often but it's a great tripod next this flexi tripod you can just do this and it's stable vlog like casey nasted kinda I don't really use it anymore just it's not that tall now I want to stand and say something to camera for me most important is just tall tripod when I started traveling this was game changer and it collapses like that it's amazing my favorite tripod so far that I use it all the time really tall tripod you can adjust the legs I just took the head from flexible tripod I also like this tripod it's more stable definitely but the size it's just bigger it collapses like that so far this is my favorite I would encourage you to invest in this like you want to take a picture you just connect to your phone via bluetooth just press this button you can take a picture those are my tripod that i use that i can actually recommend i'm waiting to rain to stop and i'm on my ryanair website searching for flights but we have right now like winter holidays and flights are a little bit expensive because people travel so i think i'm gonna wait i'm happy like creating videos i'm getting so many subscribers right now it's crazy so a couple of vlogs at home next chapter will be gopro mount waiting for rain to stop next group of accessories the gopro mount first i think i use the most right now which is this chesty mount i use it all the time to best perspective for a like pov gopro mounting system where i can easily attach it to my chesty in a different mounts Tada! i love chesty second gopro mount head strap how to say that head mount the best use of this mount i think it's in a car let's drive somewhere with bruno and test not a super fan of gopro head strap it's not very convenient but let's test it out problem is i don't see the screen i don't know what my gopro sees so quick road trip somewhere so this is the head mount i mean the, my favorite fa way to, to film pov from car because you can follow my head is what i'm seeing that's the best pov oh some, something is going on on the left side bam i'm so tired i don't sleep much maybe one day i'm gonna start a car reviewing channel that's how poland looks like with like this average cloudy uh, day next mount which i should use more often which is this suction cup let's test it out i love this look we're gonna use more of this how strong is this mount Look like a professional Top Gear filmmaker. Transform myself to beautiful remote island. I'm gonna show you how I actually film my clips for like random vlogs. I have my tripod, I can put my phone. I'm gonna clap to later synchronize the footage. Everything is ready and I can stay something smart, usually very random as my everyday vlogs are very random. Now let's talk about another accessory. My thing most important accessory of a YouTuber, which is a microphone. This is the mic that I'm using. I bought it a couple days ago, DJI Mic 2. You can use the mic from iPhone, it's pretty good, just the wind. But you can record voiceover 
later at home. I have this wind muff on GoPro. This wind muff is also nice to use on GoPro. Works, works amazing. But now I'm just going to use this wireless mic. Ta-da! That was one clip. Now I'm going to turn off the camera. That's how I make up my YouTube videos. A last accessory. I always carry with me power bank. I lose Anker power bank. Anker 20k I think on Amazon I found it. GoPro Enduro batteries are amazing. My next favorite purchase. Especially in cold temperatures. The difference is huge. That's the end of chapter accessories. Now let's talk about the thumbnails. Drone, mic and phone. That's going to be my thumbnail. Okay dude, remember, talk slower. Let's talk about the most important thing, uh, idea, topic for your video. I've made a lot of random vlogs. They are okay. That's going to be a great memory, but truly to get like views on YouTube, we need to have some kind of idea for the video. Having like main things is very important. And I'm not going to lie, I got really inspired. Basically, we can say that I copied the idea from the Spawn Point YouTube channel. That, that's an amazing video. I'm not going to be as good as him, but I'm learning. Okay, in next person, Sam Par from the podcast My First Million, a very smart guy. He talked about how he learned how to write the best way to learn how to write is just to copy other people just write write what they wrote to learn how to use the structure so that's what i'm doing with youtube copying kind of copying other people i'm saying my own words and everything let's drive home bruno and talk about the last part which is going to be probably editing the magneting mount is actually pretty fun i need to use it more whoa whoa whoa, whoa. magnetic swivel clip i think that's the name okay i'm gonna eat something and see you in my professional office space now final step of youtube daily routine which is editing i use macbook Air M1. Time to transfer all of the files together. Let's go to DaVinci Resolve. New project. Timeline 25 FPS. DaVinci Resolve, it's free. Took me a couple of weeks to really use it. Where I found classic music that I use all the time. Just basic. Here you have audio library in YouTube Studio. And I only use the songs from this. My advice don't buy like Epidemic Sounds or any other stuff if you want to start your YouTube channel. Just use everything for free. Just learn. DaVinci Resolve, it's free. YouTube or Music Library it's free try it if you actually like it because the youtube it's freaking long game today huh. and the most important act and and in the